Hello, hello, everybody. Okay, so I have a very short tutorial for today. So let's jump right into it. So color regions, but this time we should all be using them and loving them. If you type color and, you know, this already is out of beta, experimental, anything, this is a feature that is going to be on, right? All the time. So if you go here, you have the ability to create color regions or color windows. So what, why are they so cool and so very good to work with? They are a little bit like post processing volumes, but they do work, you know, in a certain region or area. So let's test this one. Uh, I'm going to change, you know, the actual temperature of this one, right? And you can see how as soon as I change the temperature, there is going to be this area, this sphere of influence, you know, altering the actual color in this scene, right? This is amazing. Even more amazing is that these are post-processing effects. So this is like lighting, uh, but for free. Uh, you're not going to get any sort of shadow, but you can paint with light and you can color correct your scene as much as you want, right? So for example, I would, you know, want this um, whole thing to be a little bit darker inside here. So I'm going to reset my temperature and I'm going to uh, gain and I'm going to lower, you know, the gain of this particular um, and there it is. This is what you can achieve. You can turn it on and off and see, you know, the actual thing that is happening, right? You can do a bunch of very crazy things with this thing. But lately with 5.3, uh, I don't know, I think this was fixed in 5.3. So I'm going to attribute it uh, to 5.3. Let me show you one thing. So I'm going to add a new color, but in this case, a color window, right? I, it will work with both. It doesn't matter if it is, you know, the actual uh, window or region. For what I'm going to showcase, it should be exactly the same. So let me set this to 100. Yeah, I want like a very huge window here uh, because I'm going to showcase something really, really cool, right? So um, now I have this window and I may think that, you know, the actual color of these rocks is a little bit more gray and I want them to be a little bit more brownish um, like the floor, right? Like the ground. So let's try to do that. So we're going here to gamma and I'm going to switch this to something a little bit like, yeah, like that, right? But now I'm affecting, you know, the whole thing. I'm affecting everything. And uh, because of this is like, um, like a window, from no matter where I see this thing through, it's going to tint everything. But this is the big bot. Um, if you go down on your setting, there should be this enable per actor color correction. Let's see what this does. So I'm going to turn it on and it says it will only affect selected actors. So let's select one actor, right? So I can create one element for that array and I can use my picker and I can try to pick, you know, this uh, rock up here, click. And uh, it seems like it's, it's not doing anything, right? It's weird. But let me show you how to fix that one. So if you go to edit and you go to project settings, and if you search for stencil, you're going to see that the actual past processing custom dead stencil pass is going to be set to enable. That should do it, right? But let's swap it for enable with stencil and voila. Now you see that the actual color correction is just applying on that rock. Amazing, isn't it? All right, so now I'm going to add, you know, another uh, element and I'm going to select this rock and another one. And I'm going to select that rock and another one. And I'm going to select that other rock. Now I can, you know, go back to my actual color correction and I can keep on playing, right, with that uh, particular gamma. 
and make it, you know, as good as I need. And yeah, that is how you can color correct per actor with either the region color correct or the window color correct. And yeah, that's it for this one. This is a very short one. I hope you enjoy it. And remember, uh, be good to everyone. I love you all. And I will catch you on the next one. Bye.